How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Um, sorry, I have you positioned in the way I have. I have you facing into the spray bill as I'm being using my spray bill to show you the task in hand. How, like, what I've done with the chopped up truck that I turned into the Hakuska Hakataro front end. As you can see, I put the wide body. I've made it look like it's the real deal. The real truck, the over fenders. Now, over the front fender, you can see where I have a gun metal grey. Everything is gun metal grey. I um, had to sand that there because there was extra glue there, if you get me. So that has to be repainted to make it smooth again. So that's why that is the way it is over the front fender. The front over fender. But that's the whole truck now with the Hakuska front dash. The dashboard and all is in it. Um, steering wheel. I have R thirty two GTR seats in it. I have a Calsonic GTR shifter. As you can see, it's the blue yoke. I still have to paint it. Don't worry about that. I will paint it. But I did manage to wide body the truck. Where uh, parts out of my other kits. Um done the Hakuska Hakatoro front end swap on it as well the hood is cut open I just have to see it's taped in I just have to make a work with the chassis that I'm using I'm using a chassis that came with the original truck that I hacked the, this, the cab out of which was a Toyota Hilux slam truck so that's the wheel I'm using the, um, the proper wheels that you would use on this truck what and have you else. As you can see it has the new Lamborghini um, camber style suspension. It's the same suspension used in this as they're using on their LB works um, suspension. You can do all the camber there as you can see the way I made to move the suspension up and down and sideways and all. So yeah it's just a matter of neatening everything back up and then um, making the wheels set. Uh, in a place where they look good on the truck and then mounting the body onto the chassis for good I am going to put an engine in it as well as planned so I'll, I'll have a Datsun engine I'm going to put in it I'm going to put the Datsun engine in it so that's where I am with that build right now so it is starting to look alright and new to me my local hobby store after all the whinging and moaning I was doing about AMT kits, MPC kits, all that, he, he's after getting in all the 116 scale cars and trucks, the drag truck that I like, he's gotten that in, he's had to get in a lot of great stuff from the USA that I couldn't get my hands on that I really wanted. I was over there today and boy god, I was like a child in a candy shop running around picking up kits. Only I didn't bring enough money with me to get everything I needed. <laughs> so um, I told them I picked up two, the the drag truck, and one of the new released um, drag cars that you have over there. I know one you have it over there. It's one twenty four scale, but the one I picked today is the one sixteen scale, exact same as the one twenty four. Only it's one sixteen. So I've asked them to hold on to that till I can get back over to him, which will be probably next week or the week after because my partner's actually at the moment in a place right now getting help for basically after losing her father and it only just really here her on Father's Day this year because it was the first time he hasn't been here. And he didn't get to celebrate Father's Day for him and even though he said I don't celebrate Father's Day for me because I didn't want to refresh and all that on our mind, you know, about our own dad passing. So my daughter just got me moises don't make like I don't want that and I'm okay. But my daughter went and got me um my cards and all that type of stuff that he got me for Father's Day, so thank him for that. But I did, really didn't want Father's Day to be celebrated this year in their home because I knew how fresh it was on my partner's mind where I dad just at the past in February. So she's in actually the last three days getting 
some just a bit of counselling to help her grieve, you know. Because she hasn't been able to grieve properly, you know, at home, so yeah. But and anyway, I picked up as I was a collection of Lambos and I already built the Contash the LP five hundred one. I ended up picking up this Contash Countash, should I say, to um put with the rest of my Lamborghini collection. As is now I have them all now from the oldest one, the what's that one called from Hasegawa? I got the Atari version one. The one Justin had built. Justin from Justin Hart models it there. He had just recently built one there in green. But I got one it was in my last mail stash call anyway. So I have all them now up as far as the event at all. So whatever else after the event at all. I had the Venino but I broke it. I smashed it. It was too complicated trying to get it together and I ended up smashing it. Yes, my anger got the better of me on that video on that day. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to say I lost the only 60 quid kit by smashing it. So, yeah, I just smashed this foot on it and threw it in the bin. Which was a stupid thing to do, I know. Cost myself 60 euros, but uh, what can I do? But I got that today while I was over there. Like I said, because he's had to get in some USA kits. I got the Chevy Stepside Truck Pickup Tone 1, the 65th, and you know why you haven't been able to get aunt like this over here lads, you know what I mean, so it's all new to me, so I'm excited for normal kits that you have had a long time. There's the second kit, I have this now already, as now I have this already. I bought it online, so I have one for swap, if anybody's interested in swapping for one of these kits, let me know, it's brand new, there's not a thing wrong with it, there's basically brand spanking new in the box, there's nothing missing, everything's on the sprues, everything's in the plastic sealed, the decals are all brand new, this is actually the exact same one as well, with the same year released and all, 97, so like, there's no difference. It's the exact same kit. So if any of are interested in uh, doing a trade for that, or want to do a trade for that that kit, let me know. I went over and paid nearly 30 euros for this reusable mold. It's certified food contact safe, meaning there's no harmful stuff in it. So it's fine. It's a 10 ounce drum of um, reusable mould all I have to do is when I'm finished m m making moulds of whatever I want to make a mould of just put it into a tub or a jar or something and heat it up and melt it again into more and then I can keep remelting it and putting it into a jar till it goes like this again do you know what I mean so I can use this over and over and over for all different uh, moulds I also got Another two figure master box figures, and um, again in correspondence number numbers of each other. I got that one. Tiberius. Con, con what's it? Consolation. Hackington tree. I got that one. And I got the lorry one, which is the female version of it. She's actually storming a bar with a guy in it. And he's actually storming the bar with the lady in it. Now, I, this one's always there for sale. It's always in in stock. Just wasn't there today. That was in stock. And uh, there's a couple of others. The Mexican fella is in stock. And I wait there. You wouldn't be really any use to me. He would. Now, he will. He'll be used to me when he comes back into stock, this guy here. I'll get him, and I might get her just for the sake of getting it, because she's in this. Probably just to have it there, you know. I think you get a pet cat with that as well. But anyway, I got them as well today, so... I put off the drag truck I put behind the till, and I put the 116 scale... I, th I think it's a... 
a Chevelle, I think it's a Chevelle, I don't know, I can't really think of the name in any way, but it's a good, it's one of them cars you guys all build. It's a nice car, very nice car, but uh, it's in 116 scale, so I'll have, I'll have two 116 scale now. I was spoiled for choice. You had trucks and trailers and everything else and they were all the same price. Everything was 60 euro. Good price for all them old kits because they're MPC and a AMT and all. But he had a lot of them. And I can't see many people buying as many kits as I usually do out there because I'm constantly over there, if you know what I mean, buying. So, um, yeah, I'll be over there and if you... Every time I pick up some, I'll ask them to hold another couple for me. Anyway, to the shop cards, lads. I got some shop cards in. Even though I found my other ones, there was some on the way for me that I already have. So I'll still keep these and save them. First of all, I hadn't got Jamie. The Scale Model Garage. Jamie's a good guy, lads. He builds awesome motorbikes. He's um, he's a fairly new channel to the community. He has a few, a couple of hundred subscribers, as far as I know. Um, he does awesome detail to the bikes. It's unbelievable. He he really does do some nice stuff to the bikes. He's in um a body build right now with um. John Paul and what? Can't Miguel. John Paul and Miguel are the only buddy builder I'm right now with the I think it's the Honda one twelve. Oh no, it's not it's the Ducati Panigale bike. Ducati Panigale bike. The one with the white stripe down the, the centre of the fern. So shout out to you Jamie, thanks for your card mate. I'm sure I sent you a card. I'm sure I did. I, I know I sent a few out. If I didn't, I'll have to get your address again because I ripped up the envelope. But if I, do, did, if I didn't, you'll be able to let me know. I have stamps here. I have a booklet of stamps here for overseas. They're all there. Where are they? I'm trying to find them here to show you. I have a load of stamps there for over priority airmail, it says with them. So I have enough stamps and, and envelopes there and I have a load of cards printed. So just let me know if it doesn't arrive within another few days, let me know, resend your address and I'll um, forward them on to you. I definitely know I sent this guy one straight away the next morning. It's Justin from J Hart Model Works. Thanks Justin, I appreciate the card buddy and I love the kind words you gave me and the compliments. Much appreciated mate, thanks very much. Um, you're a ta very talented builder. Great uh, tutorials on how to do things, you have awesome ideas and when you're doing builds you think of the most craziest ideas that just work. They're just great ideas. Um, I don't know if I picked up this idea off you or off somebody else but I picked up this idea off a channel. They were talking about safety pins. And I was thinking, a safety pin, like a curve pin or whatever. But no, they were talking about these pins for shift knobs. For shifters. You get them in multi colours. You just snip them to the size you need them. So I got a jar of them. They come in all different colours. See? So they're steel. Little shifters, a little roundy ball on top, so they're perfectly in scale for the shift knobs of 124 scale cars. So, yeah, I end up um, picking that up off. I think it might have been you, Justin. I'm not sure. It could, I'm, I'm convinced it was your channel because I picked up a, a lot of ideas off your channel. And I, anytime I pick up an idea off anyone's channel, I always save the channel, uh, the, the video to a, a private selection of mine then for how tools you know what I mean for ideas on builds so again shout out to Justin and uh, Jamie 
thanks guys for your shop cards much appreciated i really do hope you get mine very soon you're probably already getting justin yours is definitely due because i got yours so your one should be definitely there now i was just i'm not sure whether i jamie's one went down i don't know if i've written one today oh my head's like a sieve sorry jamie i'll get one out here if i didn't but let me know if you sent me your address because i don't know if you sent me your address i think i just sent you an address if i'm thinking correctly another shout out lads is a uh, cliff from gi mechanics scale modeling he's all now cliff he's all subscribed to cliff um yeah cliff re sent me his card because i had told him i'd lost my cards and he was another one of the, the guys that got behind me and resent the card to me so Cliff, I got your card again today, buddy. Thanks very much. Even though I found them the other day, you might have seen the video. So thanks very much, mate. I'll put that into a say for all the other ones that I have twice now. And same goes for Rick Zink. I already had Rick. And I have him up on the wall there now. He knows that I found me cards. And he had he knows that he already had them on the way to me. So Rick, thanks very much as well, buddy, to you. You and Cliff. Fair play, just thanks for resending them. And thanks to the two guys that sent me them. The first, these are the first time that these have been sent, so I won't need them resent again unless I lose them all again, <laughs> which I do. And last but not least, L Skip from Skipomatics. Skipomatics, Model Mania. Skip is a nice guy, he help you out any time, he's a cool fella. Um, he actually has um, in his scrap bin the truck I'm at the being talking about at the start of this video, the drag truck. He has one of them in his scrap parts box. He's actually doing a build from all his scrap parts. Um, that truck itself, I was actually talking to one day to... Doug Hensley, because I'd seen Doug had it, and I said to Doug, if he, if he can pick up one of them, but Doug knew that I was also looking for a trailer, and he, he actually got me the trailer, which I'm glad, because that still hasn't came in, and that the truck came in, so shout out to Doug as well, thanks Doug, for getting me that trailer that you got me that time, that we done the trade for, much appreciated, because um, that still hasn't came back into stock yet in my shop, so, yeah, and at least I have a chance now we can pick up my drag truck. I actually gave them a down payment today off it while I was over there. How much I had left in my pocket on me. I always only bring how much I need to spend to the hobby shop in case things like that happen. Because I end up spending too much money. And then my daughter was with me today and she kept saying, But Dad, why are you buying more models if you have loads of models and they're all just in the wardrobe? I said, Peyton, that's what they do. That's what model builders do. I says we stack, we store, and we pick and choose what we decide to pick and choose to build from. I says if I showed you half my friends' channels and their stashes, you you'd, you wouldn't believe that they were all models. And I explained about people's garages being like Mike's garage being an old storage place. I explained about um. Miguel's uh, underground, um, I, I wouldn't know, what, what would you call that, basement, the way he has that turned into a, a model department with alleys and walkways, and then um, Big Ed's attention to details, and Sean's stash, and Russell's stash, all them types of stashes, I was saying, if you've seen half of the stashes that my friends have on YouTube, you'd be very surprised at how little I have compared to them and she's saying oh it's so much more now and I'm saying yeah there's a lot more they've a lot more than I have and um, yeah she just thought like she's getting this uh, like in her little head you have so many models now why do you need to keep buying more <laughs> why don't you just keep buying what you need like paint and things that you run out of she doesn't understand, you know what I mean? I says, half of the models that I get are rare models. I was actually going to pick up the JZX100 Chase, or they had it back in stock. 
the white one. Remember, I got the white and the um, red one, and I done the red one the lime green. I built the drift uh, lime green car of with white wheels and a grey um, decal in the window. Well, remember the white one I got, the white TRD one. But the same day I got that red one, and um, that is back in stock over there. So um, thirty euro is a thirty euro kit. I was gonna pick that back up, but I already have it. So I always said that to you before. Kits that I have more than once, I'd rather just trade if I can get a trade for something that I haven't got. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Like I said, guys, if any of you are interested in that GT one Porsche nine eleven M, um, to me. It, Okay, as is an old people that has built it, tell me that's a great kit to build. I only got told that as well last night, and it goes to get a nice Gary from Transition Modeler Fallout Shelter. Um, Gary from uh, Canada, he built it, and he said that's that's such a great kit to build that Porsche kit. So, um, yeah, it's there for a trade. If anybody's interested, just hit me up and we can talk. There's a couple of models over there that I'd like to get my hands on that hasn't came over here yet. The likes of the Volkswagen Scirocco. Um, there's a few, there's a few kit, the Sunny truck. Uh, there's a couple of small cheap kits that I want, like, and I'll take any one for it. Even though I paid nearly 70 quid for that kit when I was getting it on the internet, I bought that on eBay, the one I'm trading. And then I go over there and get it for 45 euro in my local. So yeah. It's a grand old kit and it's there for trade if anyone's interested. So please and anyway guys. If any of you haven't subscribed to any of these channels that I have showed you. Please go and check them out and give them a sub. Tell them I sent you over. That's Skip from skip Very supportive guy. Nice guy. Kill crazy old cat. Um, Jay Justin Hart from Model Works. He's an awesome builder. Great tutorials. Teach you a lot of good stuff. Um, Jamie. Uh, you need to know about motorbike. That guy knows. I tell you, he, he, he has some collection of motorbikes to be built and has built. He also does cars too. Rick. Rick is an old skill builder. He loves all the old... Um, Fords and all that type of stuff and all them old cars. He's very talented himself. He's look at the diorama sure on his little car like it's like a, the dead has risen and they're all going to get themselves drunk and they want to spin on their bikes. <laughs> and Cliff from a uh, GI mechanic scale model. He uh, served his country in the US Army. So, shout out to you again, Cliff, Rick, Jamie, and Skip. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Talk to you again soon, lads. Have a good day. Keep out. Stay safe. Build on. Let us know if you have any advice on aren't I should change or aren't and that, and that doesn't look right. That does still have to get painted. That's sanded right now. That's glue over that fender. So I, ha I sanded that and I'm going to sand it a little bit more and then I'm going to hit it with gunmetal grey again. I'll cover the inside of the dash because that's the dash out of the skyline as well. So there's, there's what's left of that skyline. I chopped it up, I cut the boot out of it, trunk, I cut the doors out of it, I cut um, the whole front off to put onto that trunk, that truck. Uh, I used the dash. There was nothing wrong with this model. I just didn't want to um, chop up the brand new one I have in the box. I said I'll just do one of the ones. I, I, I just chop up the one I built when I was only starting the model. There's little useful over fenders on the back of this. That I could cut them out and remold them with glue onto something else. You know what I mean? I used wide body LB works fenders on this truck. Because on the Hakusa, Hakutaro. The truck that I was looking at was gunmetal grey, the one I was replicating. And I had the, all the front end. As you can see, it has the front intercooler and all still gunmetal grey on it there. I'm just going to paint that 
crown I'll run the pipes to it and I'll put the front lip and all on it when I have all the chassis and all sorted out then yes, I have the wheels as is now the Wanton Abbey wheels legendary wheels for the old sky lines and then that truck and then uh, I have the chassis off the, the original bed that I'm using as the Hakatoro. You wouldn't even know that that was a Toyota uh, cab with a Nissan front on and now that I have it all sanded and moulded together and all and I use the whole front end from the bottom window wiper shelf, parcel shelf thing. All of that forward is um, the GTR. So from the bottom of the window A pillars is the skyline forward and the rest is the Toyota apart from the Alva fenders. That's for on the Ken Murray Ken Murray LB Works kit. I use the Alva fenders for that. So yeah. Like I said guys, don't forget that Porsche is there if anyone's interested, let me know, okay? Have a good day. 25 minutes now, Ramla. Chat to you again soon. Keep it out. Bye-bye.